Greetings and salutations, Groundies. Welcome to another episode of Just Jazz Vlogs. Now, I wanted to do kind of like an update video, see where we are kind of video, and just go from there. Give you guys some updates, and then I will get to why I titled this video, What I Did. First and foremost, I want to thank you guys for all the support you've been showing me thus far. I know I haven't really stuck with one concept for the channel, and I know how frustrating that can be at times. Well, maybe not, but I just want to try different things and see how it works. So I want to ask you guys... What did you think about the series that I did with uh, public transportation in my area? I got a lot of positive feedback, but I still want to know you can get in depth, tell me what you liked, and tell me what you didn't like, and how I can improve. Next order of business, I wanted to uh, talk and clear up some things about my history of foster care video. Number one, I think I'm going to take both videos down regarding foster care. First reason is, my mom brought it to my attention, the camera angle isn't quite right. And I don't, it's not the f most flattering way I could be seen. Now I know this isn't bashing Dan or anything he did wrong. We were trying something different and didn't look great. And I'll just tell him, you know, let's try something else. Now uh, the next thing I want to clear up is the, um, <coughs> excuse me, the content of that video itself. I, how do I say this? The reason why I did that video was because I wanted to hopefully give an account as to what I was feeling, what I felt, when I was a foster child, and looking back on it, and my mom brought it to my attention. If somebody has never seen my channel before, and it just, it, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So I just want to clear up a few things regarding that video. Uh, for you guys who haven't seen it, like I said, it was about my experience and my emotions to my biological mother not being the loving, warm woman that I wanted her to be. And... In all honesty, at my age of 26, almost 27, I still struggle with that. And at times, I'm super embarrassed about the fact that I can't get over it. I mean, as my mother has stated, I'm paraphrasing so she doesn't attack me later. Um, the way it worked is... When I was born, I had a lot of medical issues, number one. Number two, my mother was 16 years old. And that's a lot of responsibility for a 16-year-old to have. And the fact of the matter is, she just didn't want me because it just, it didn't jive with what she wanted to do with her life. And at my age, I still have days where I struggle with knowing that she just didn't want me because that's it. I don't understand how a, um, how a parent could not want or think about their child. Even if they didn't want to have it, you still think about it. I referenced my foster brother and how he no longer lives with us and how we've had him from the time he was six months and even though he's not my flesh and blood there isn't a day that goes by that i don't think about how he's doing wondering if he's happy sad if he ate a lot uh i just i don't get it but i struggle with this a lot i want to get over it but i'm having a hard time getting over it so one of the things that I've decided to do was to get back into therapy. I've been going to therapy my entire life. When I moved into my 
second foster home, my mom knew that with these kind of issues, you should talk about it. So she got me in therapy immediately. And I was young. I didn't know anything. I just wanted to bottle everything up inside. Um, I didn't get the help that I needed. Not so much because the therapists were bad, but because... I wasn't ready to face it. I wasn't ready to deal with the issues. So I have a new therapist now. And this time, I want to work through my issues. I want to talk about these things. And I want to... I just want to get... Not through... I want to get through it. I want to be able to be successful. And I know that the only way I'm going to be able to be successful is to drop all of my baggage. So that's that. The other thing I wanted to kind of reference is I was talking about specific points in my life where my mother, biological mother, had let me down. And I'll just give you guys a quick summary of what I meant by that. What I meant by that is when I was still in foster care, my biological mother had the opportunity to have visits with me twice a month for four hours. And there would be several times where she just wouldn't show up. And I made a reference to something called the pen relays. Uh, basically what it is, it's a big uh, track and field competition that happens in my area of Pennsylvania every year. Anyway, she did not show up to get that visit because she went to the pen relays instead. I didn't know that at the time. I just knew my mom was supposed to be there and I didn't, um, I didn't, she didn't show up. And that's kind of where I want to end this specific subject. For any of you out there who are in foster care, or you're an adult who has been through it, and you're having trouble getting over the fact that your parent wasn't the perfect person, please get help if you can. Please talk to somebody, because I've been out of the system since I was 14. I didn't have that bad of a foster care experience compared to so many other people. And I still have issues with rejection. Um, actually, the other day, I texted my biological mother because I wanted her to um, come on my channel and kind of explain her side of the story as to why she didn't want me. And she declined. Well, she didn't decline. She said she would do it, but she doesn't want to be put on YouTube because the topic is too sensitive to her, which I think is quite selfish considering that she is the reason why I am where I am now. But... If you watch the video I made with that, Dan asked me, do you think that, do you think it would have been beneficial for you to live with your mom in general? And I said no. So, in a way, not in a way, it was a good thing. I don't think I'd be as far in life as I am if I was in that situation. But at the same time, I still have feelings of sadness because I don't understand, I can't understand or let go the fact that she abandoned me other than the fact that she just didn't want the disability of, she didn't want to have to take care of somebody with a disability. And yeah, those are my thoughts on that. So get help if you can. It's really important to let go of the baggage. Now, moving forward, the second thing I wanted to talk about is I made a, um, I made a video after that called The History of Foster Care, and I don't like it. I was looking at it. I forgot that I had uh, scheduled it to come out yesterday, and I look back on it again, and I personally don't think it was my best work. So I want you guys to watch it, tell me what you think, but I'm probably going to take it down. Now moving on to more happier news, I am 
a little under 3,000 subscribers away from my goal of 10,000 subscribers. When you get 10,000 subscribers, you have opportunities to uh, go to the YouTube space. You can record things at the space. You can get extra help. And it, a lot of times, your numbers start increasing rapidly from then on. I am as I... I am... What 7,123 subscribers in, and I'm really pushing to get 10,000 subscribers by September 31st. And the reason for that is, as a lot of you may or may not know, I dropped out of school. I didn't drop out of school for YouTube. I had some other issues. I had every intention of going back. I still kind of want to go back, but... I want to entertain, and I know you don't need a degree to do that. Also, really quick disclaimer, I am never telling anyone to drop out of school. If that's what you feel like you have to do, do you, but don't do it if you don't have to. It's not the smartest thing. I'm not trying to be a hypocrite, but that's just how I feel. Anyway, I told my mom and a few other people that if I couldn't start having a viable career by September 30th, and I talked about this back in July. Oh, shoot. The lights went out. Cool. We're back. I basically told my mom and a few friends and people that helped me out, if I don't reach this goal, you know, I'll just, I'll continue to make YouTube videos, but I'll can it and, you know, go back to school and finish everything out. And again, I still will, but I know 100% that this could work. And I know that I have a purpose in this world to entertain uh, educate and make people happy, and I know that this is the perfect platform to start and to branch off and to things and beyond. Anyway, I will be giving away a $200 Amazon gift card to a random subscriber if we can reach that goal by September 30th. 10,000 subscribers by September 30th. Somebody's getting a 2,000, 2,000, I wish, $200 Amazon gift card. The way you can win that gift card is if you are obviously subscribed to my channel, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, uh, uh, Twitter, if you have those accounts. And also follow me on Patreon. For you guys that don't know what Patreon is, Patreon is basically like a tip jar. You, uh, if you like a said creator and you want to support them financially, that is another avenue you can take. I'm not asking you to support me financially on Patreon. I'm just asking you to follow me on that platform so I can start building my numbers. I would never ask anyone to pay for me in exchange for something else. But if you could just follow me, that would be greatly appreciated. Also, I'm going to be launching a uh, website soon. Uh, it it's a work in progress. You don't have to follow me on the website, but if you could uh, follow me, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and 100% subscribe to my YouTube channel, when I hit 10,000 subscribers, one of you lucky people will be getting an Amazon gift card. Uh, it's probably, it's not probably, it's definitely going to be an e-card. So... Yeah, that's where we are. The campaign starts today. It's going to be plastered all over social media, and I'll be talking about it daily. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this, if you like what you see, give this video a thumbs up, like, share it, subscribe so we can hit our goal. You could be that lucky winner that gets this Amazon gift card, and yeah. Have a fantastic day and stay blessed. Thank you guys. Goodbye.